Tonight, outrage exploding across the Arab world yet again. Protests against Israel and the United States shaking the region. Supporters of Hamas and Jordan clashing with police. Authorities seen leading one of them away. Protests roiling streets from Bahrain to Baghdad. This protester telling us he's here to support his brothers in Gaza, saying they can't do anything except go out to protest. Sudan and Lebanon South is a stronghold of Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah. But this protest was called by the Palestinian group Hamas. Many of these protesters are Palestinians, descended from refugees who fled here when Israel was founded in 1948. I asked this man, you're a young guy, you're not grown up yet, are you ready for war? He tells me I'm ready, we're ready to die, sacrifice for Gaza and sacrifice for Palestine. We're raised on rocks here. It's been nearly two weeks since Hamas's bloody attacks on Israel, two weeks of Israeli bombardments of Gaza. This crowd came right out of the mosque and into the streets. The question is, will their anger take them to the borders with Israel and into another war? We're not far from that border with Israel, where simmering tit-for-tat attacks between Hezbollah and the Israelis may be about to boil over. Israel said on Friday it will evacuate more than 20,000 people from its northern town of Kiryat Shmona and other nearby communities. Fighting has already killed more than a dozen soldiers and civilians on both sides of the border. But even as the violence intensifies, Hezbollah and Israel appear to be stopping short of all-out war. For now. I spoke to a local imam who told me the threat from Hezbollah, a much larger and more powerful force even than Hamas, is keeping Israel from moving into the Gaza Strip. He told me Israel's holding back from invading Gaza, worried about the threat of Hezbollah to its north. He pointed to Israel's own reports showing Hezbollah's rocket strength has grown 10 times since it fought its last war with Israel in 2006. If Hezbollah does decide to enter the war, he said, it'll drag with it an alliance of anti-Israel nations, an axis of resistance led by Iran. I asked him if Israel's afraid of Hezbollah and its allies. Absolutely, he said. If Hezbollah joins the fight, it will be Armageddon for the Jewish state. Israel says they're more than ready to wage a war on two fronts. Both sides now rattling their sabers. But it's the civilians of this vast region who are once again caught in between. Matt Bradley joins us now once again tonight from Tyre, Lebanon. Matt, listening to that imam speak, hearing from your reporting based on what Hezbollah leaders think, they seem to really believe that the strikes coming from Hezbollah into northern Israel is deterring an all-out ground assault on Gaza. From what your sources are telling you, is a ground invasion a red line for Hezbollah? No, I mean, we've been actually asking people that. It's a really good question, Ellison. You know, we've been asking, is there a red line? And we haven't really gotten a straight answer from any of the Hezbollah affiliated or Hezbollah members that we've spoken to. It's pretty clear that there isn't necessarily a red line. It's kind of a we'll know it when we see it kind of thing. But the really interesting thing, Ellison, that I've been observing here is that the fighting on the border behind me has escalated so much over the past week. And yet both sides still seem to be showing some kind of restraint. It's like this delicate dance with the choreography, but both sides really are just following each other's steps, feeling each other out, and it's not entirely clear how much further that will go. I don't think Hezbollah knows, and I don't think the Israelis know either. Allison? Matt Bradley, important reporting. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.